No one like you know the earth, King of glory. Your word of our adulation, your word of our worship. Let me hear you. Let me hear you worshiping God. His word of our adulation, King of glory, we worship you. How excellent is your name, Father, King of glory. How great is your name, King of glory. How great is your name in the mighty name, Jesus. Katondo mula mutuzukusizo ralero. Katondo mwesi watule se. Kaba 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 kato wadi alinga gwe musio na Elizoba tuwa kushaba katondo wa mani Katondo mwesi watu ze masogo Kaba 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 keri Lero tukusinza Lero tulese yevi afibyo na Tuze kusinza Let me hear you worshiping God Let me hear you worshiping Him In your own words It's word of our adulation It's word of our worship It's word of our praise In the mighty name of Jesus to consider yes, to consider katondo mulamu, e ya ule nyancha, osani da matendo gafe. Ruha gishite, ruha ngo mwana, ruha ngo moyo.
down and lead us by the King of Glory. That Holy Spirit to call upon that Spirit. We call upon that Spirit. Yeah.
everything, put it in his hands and trust that he is able. Lord, we trust that you are able to do exceedingly beyond what we can imagine. This afternoon and this service, we know that you are going to break some chains, you are going to relieve some depression, you are going to bring joy in our lives, you are going to make some connections that are going to turn things over. We love you and we bless you. And we will come, you Lord, to come and carry the body. Whatever seems impossible, we trust that you are dealing with it as we fellowship in this service. We bless you. Come on, clap hands for God. And thank Him. Let us also clap for the choir. Thank you for doing us very well. We love you and we appreciate your service. You may have your seat as you greet your neighbor. Welcome them to this wonderful youth service. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming in this youth service. Okay. So today we have a special visitor, Michelle, in our youth service. It's our first time in this youth service. Michelle, you're very welcome. We have uh, the new people who have joined us today. Can we have, if it is your first time to be in this youth service, can you put up your hand? Apart from Michelle. Oh. We don't have any. That's, we still give glory to God, the online church. You're welcome to today's youth service. Now we have something special that Michelle is going to teach us. It's a, a youth handshake. Are you ready? Okay. It's a youth handshake. So and we are all going to learn it so that every time we meet, every time you meet a fellow youth can greet them using this handshake. And I'm going to invite other two people who have a clue on this handshake to join us here. Yes, come. Another one. We are going to do it again and I will invite Mami Jessica to come and, 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 and join us here. Then she will teach others. Amen? So it's our handshake that she gave us so that when I meet you on the way to, and we, I greet you in that kind of way we know we are one family. We are one Masse youth family. Tony, prepare. You're going to give us a presentation in the next one minute. Tony, come on stage. If, if you want to learn the handshake, I will teach you. And Michelle is still here. She can teach you so that anytime you meet a fellow youth, we can identify ourselves by that kind of handshake. Thank you, Michelle. Praise the Lord. Okay, because of our time, I'll give the chorus. Amen. We bless God for the you, the youth. Amen. Come on, clap for yourself. And if you just came in with someone here, you're doing us good. Amen. You're doing God's work. Great. Amen. May God bless you. Amazing the things you do. If you know the song, you can join me. Amazing the things you do. Oh, what you've done amazes me. Amazing the things you do. Oh, what you've done 
Amazing the things you do, oh what you've done, amazes me, amazing the things you do, oh what you've done, has made me glad, amazing, amazing the things you do, oh what you've done. Amazing, amazing, the things you do, oh, what you've done, has made me amazing, amazing, yeah, the things you do, hey, oh, what you've done, hey, amazing, amazing, yeah, the things you do, oh, what you've done. In fire, your name, your steadfast love amazes me. The things you do, hey. no man can do. Jehovah, your soul, amen. I'll magnify your In fire, your name, your steadfast love amazes me. The things you do. No man can do Jehovah your soul Amazing Amazing That things That things you do Hey Oh that you do Amazing Amazing That things you do That things you do Oh Oh what you done Amazing One more time. Yeah. Oh my, in fire your name, your steadfast love amazes me. The things you do, hey, no one can do. Jehovah, you are by yourself. Amen. Yeah, when you stop, you stop. Hey, you're cool. You're not cool. Or he comes, I'm going to give a, an announcement. This week, this coming week, is a, a week of a frontier. Amen? We have families in the youth, so we have peace family, love, joy, and righteousness. And we, I, I hope everyone belongs to a given family. Let me see one who says, I do not belong to any family. Then we can give you one. So we all have families, including Michelle. So this week, we are going to serve... Michelle, which family are you? She's in Joy family. Is that... Is that... 
Okay. <laughs> so this week, it's a third week of the month, the coming week. And in, in the third week, uh, in the mission or community setting, we serve a frontier where we go out and evangelize. Amen? Different families will go to different communities to spread the word of God. There will be bringing in more people into our mission or communities more people in our churches and above that more people into the kingdom of God so prepare, don't give an excuse on Wednesday we are going to go with our mission community leaders to a frontier, amen endeavor to find out where you will be going on this, on this Wednesday and Massey University has already begun but is going to begin lectures tomorrow for the College of Health Sciences and, and in these lectures we shall have people certificate in pharmacy, diploma in pharmacy, diploma in lab science diploma in clinical medicine certificate in lab science so all interested applicants if you have a brother, a sister who had such kind of a vision to become a doctor and maybe they didn't do well so they can start with a certificate all those ones who have nursing and want to upgrade to diplomas, uh, pharmacy and clinical medicine, let them put in their application forms, submit and tomorrow they are supposed to begin. So call your sisters, call your parents and your friends to come and join us for the College of Health Sciences beginning tomorrow. College of Vocational Studies, we began three weeks earlier and we have scholarships, full scholarships for tailoring, certificate in tailoring, that is certificate in fashion and design, and we are fully licensed under the BIT, the electorate of the industrial studies. So come and start the your certificate in fashion and design with us at the vocational studies, at the vocational college of Master University. We began three weeks earlier and we are still admitting new people. Pay addressing, we are still admitting new people. For scholarship. So if you have someone with a dream of putting up a salon or working in the hairdressing industry, you are very, very welcome. College of Education, we are beginning in the first week of August. We have applications already in, so continue to hand in your applications or inform other people to give in their applications so that we can start with them come the first week of August. Amen. It's time to welcome our preacher. Let us stand up and clap our hands as we welcome our pastor to come and speak with us the word of God. Let's come nearer. Let's come nearer. Even those who are outside, I saw some. I saw the chat Doreen is in here. Just come near. Don't be so far. So, Doreen, take your seat. Take your seat. Yeah, bring it near here. Come nearer. I'll take a few minutes with us. We'll soon. We're going to make changes because we uh, want good preparation. We're going to make changes. We'll be having uh, a meeting with the leadership, and then we we'll make changes in this service, and they'll be for good. Amen. I'm grateful to God for giving me an opportunity to speak to the Messiah Muto, the Messiah, the, the hardworking Messiah. Amen. Okay. Give your hand clap to the Lord. Uh, we are the dot com people. I want to see your comments on, in, on on your page. Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to check how many are there now. We are the dot com people because we are youths. I'm on Facebook. I'm going to go to. The sound noise is coming in, okay? Let me see. As we start.
Okay. I don't see my picture. I see I see it. I'm waiting to see Tony. I don't see Tony's comment. Uh let's start from media. I want to save you your comments. Let me start from media. Uh-huh. I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing yours. I'm not seeing yours. You have funds, Lauren. Where is yours? Start. I want to first see that you you're supporting your service. I'm checking. When you put then I start preaching. I know you're sharing with your friends and neighbors. Uh -huh. I'm on your page. I'm there. I'm not seeing. Just don't see comments on Facebook where I am now. Yeah. Let me see. Next time you will do better, but you have to do better now. I want to first say comment. I don't say them. Okay. I'm waiting. I don't see any. Because if they go, you see them. You see, uh -huh, we have six people. Let me see how many sharing. I don't see sharing also. And I don't see comment. Now we are telling them what to do. It's comments. I see Linda. Uh -huh. It's Andrew Makisha. I see Timothy. Uh -huh. You have to tell your friends also. Those are the owners I'm seeing. See Timothy. I see Linda. I see Andrew. Where are the rest? When I see the rest, then we start. If I don't see them, we pass the way. Wait. Because I know you have phones there. I want to see Doreen first. I don't see her. I don't see Musao. I don't see our leader. Anything. I don't see anything from Joy. I don't see Michelle's comment. Okay. So next Sunday you do like that. Eight comments? Okay, let me get there again. I'd move doubt a little. Why is it moving doubt? My phone is refusing. And I want to see likes. If you don't, if, uh, now I see 12, 12 comments. Hey, Tony has come. Anakazo, I see Anakazo, Anakazo core. Hey. Uh -huh. I see Ampire boss. Hey, okay. I see Kahunde Joy. Hey, Anakazo core. Are you sharing on your wall, your page, your, your, your message? Joy, you are welcome. Uh huh. So I'm, I need to see 150 comments, and that, that means you're going to share with many people as we preach together. Hey, okay. But I see five, uh, five attentive, so it means others have commented and have moved out. I only see five. If <laughs> others have moved out, stay there. I want to see that you are now you are eight, uh huh. Others that had run away. Okay, let's, I want you to arise at least to 12, then we continue. Next time you'll do better. I see Brian. Ah, you're welcome. Hey! Brian, Brian, Brian. Hey! Preacher Brian. Uh huh. Andrew, make sure all, all, of, all of us who have liked the page. All of us have liked the page. Okay. Some on YouTube. Uh -huh. Welcome those people in uh, Dubai, in what? Okay. But be everywhere. Don't just be on uh, uh, Facebook. I want to see you more there. Now pull those hands in the air and we pray. This is a special service for you. So Lord Jesus, I thank you.
for bringing me here to serve you. I'm your servant. Anoint me for the journey you've called me in. In Jesus' name. Now pray that God anoints you. Pray. Anoint your people. Rakashete brada. Zereka brada kataka sheke preke baya. Pray. Tell God to anoint you. Anoint me, Lord. Manda rabashata rabakadabara. Reke teke seke pradakata pradabaya. Manto. I'm not hearing your voice. I want to hear your voice. Those who not speak in tongues, speak in tongues. You don't know, just pray. You'll speak as time goes on. Pray. Barata shande reka pradabaya. Manto koseke preke teke pradabaya. Rika taka sheke preke. Everybody pray. Even if your eyes are open and you're on media, pray. I want to see. Media people know how to be on media and they don't pray. You media people pray. And also keyboard pray. Everybody pray. Yeah, Ashes, you pray when you are looking. Protocol, you pray while you're looking. You don't close your eyes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pray that God anoint me. In Jesus' name. Pray. Marakatedabaya. God anoint your people. Anoint the youths, anoint leaders, anoint all men, make them special, great people of these days, men who are causing a difference in Jesus' mighty name. I ask you that you use them, I ask you that you change them, I ask you that you grant us access to the things of God. In the name of Jesus, in the heart of God is where we want to dwell. In the heart of God is where we want to dwell. In the heart of God, knowing the intent of God and doing the will of God. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Now, what I want to share with the youths is a topic I have called maintaining the aim. Maintaining the aim. A hand clap to the Lord. Youth should be active. Um, clap hands. Add some shout. Uh -huh. To the Lord. Say love you Lord. Put this more voice. I love you Lord. Uh -huh. Okay. You know. The most time you should be happy. More happy is a youthful time. But if you find your youth and your groomy, hey, there are days when you find you cannot handle. Amen. But the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. In Jesus' name. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, and verse up to verse 28. And I am reading Daniel. Remember, Daniel was called a young man. Bible says, Daniel always prayed to God three times every day. Three times every day, he bowed down on his knees to pray and praise God. Even though Daniel heard about the new law, he still went to his house to pray. He went up to the upper room of his house and opened the windows that faced towards Jerusalem. Then Daniel bowed down on his knees and prayed just as he always had done. Then the supervisors and straps went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and talked to him about the law he had made. They said, King Darius, you signed the law that says for the next 30 days, everyone who prays to any god except you, the king would throw him into the den of lions. You did sign the law, didn't you? Then the king answered, Yes, I signed that law. And the law of the Medes and Persians cannot be cancelled or changed. Verse 13. Then they said to the king, This man, Daniel, is not paying attention to you. He's one of the captives from Judah. And is not paying attention to the law you signed. Daniel still prays to his God three times every day. The king became very sad and upset. When he heard this, he decided to save Daniel. He walked, he walked until sunset, trying to think of a way to save him. 
Then the men went as a group to the king and said to him, Remember, king, that the law of the Medes, the Persians, says that no law or command signed by the king can never be cancelled or changed. Verse 16. So, the, so King Darius gave the order. They brought Daniel and threw him into the den of lions. The king said to Daniel, May God you serve save you. Hallelujah. May God you serve. Do what? Save you. Maintaining the aim. A name is that thing that is more important to you. An aim is that thing that is of a priority. A name is that thing that gives you a courage to keep moving. And, and in our Christianity, the aim is the kingdom of the Lord. Amen. Um, Daniel was praying three times a day. Daniel had his priorities with God. But then because he was in another world where they didn't believe in his God, they wanted him to worship idols and their gods. But Daniel said in his heart, I cannot change because of circumstance but because of the environment. Even at his workplace, he still maintained the state with his God. Amen. I want to begin by telling you there shouldn't be any man or anything that will make you bend your standards with God. Amen. You'd rather lose any job. You'd rather lose any money. You'd rather lose any person who wants you to bend your standards with God. People who maintain the aim, they don't bend the standards. Hallelujah. I want you to start practicing this early before you get further and you are trapped and you cannot get out. Start practicing this word now. Practice righteousness as your aim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Early enough. Don't wait when it is very late. May God help you and grant you the grace. Job chapter 27 verse 6. Job 27 verse 6. My righteousness shall I hold fast. Job 27 verse 6. It's taking longer to come. My righteousness will I hold fast. I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. Hallelujah. I will maintain the aim. Stay in the same verse. I will maintain the aim of my righteousness. Job says, my righteousness I will hold fast. What is his fast? Is what? Righteousness. And I will not let it go. I will maintain the aim of keeping my righteousness. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. Thank you Lord. Come to verse 7. My enemies be like the wicked. And he who rise up against me like the unrighteous. Whether enemies have come or not, I have to maintain the aim. Daniel was thrown in the den of lions because he has refused 
to come out of the main thing. To come out of the main reason. His aim was to serve a living God. And they want him to change out from serving a living God to worship. And they made a decree of which decree ties him. You either be thrown in the den of lion or you worship your God. And the thing is, their law cannot change. It stays the same law. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Many of our girls have shared with me. Yeah. When they go to work, every day the boss says, I will increase the salary if you sleep with me. Then I ask them, what is your aim? What is your standard? Is it a job or God? Leave the job if possible. But the boss cannot determine how you live because he's giving you a job. Praise God. They harass you. Most people have sorrowed their life and their future because they have forgotten the aim. The aim is more important. Daniel was picked and thrown the den of lions. He would have feared the den of lions. He did not fear. Ryans would rather eat me than me failing to worship my God. What a man. What a man who hears that the law has been made. And if you don't worship this God, you'll be thrown in the den of lion. What a man. And after hearing that, he went and opened doors now. Amen. Amen. Others in these days, they say, you are foolish. Who am I? Me, I will hide. Me, I will not. I will get saved later. I will, I will get saved later. I will serve God later. They get ashamed of the Lord because of a man. Because they want to save their job. Because they want to save their status. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are not saving anything. You are destroying everything by not maintaining the aim. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2. We have heard Job says, my righteousness I will maintain it as fast. It says, for I have determined I have decided to maintain the aim. To know anything, not to know anything among you except Christ and him crucified. I have determined. Oh, I want someone to say, I have determined to maintain the aim. Say louder. I have determined in my heart to maintain the aim. Paul says, I have determined not to know anything. Or to do anything except to live for Christ and Him alone. Hallelujah. This one, you don't decide when you get problems. You decide. It is good and right and wonderful to decide before you face problems. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would rather hear of stories of those who have fallen in the fire. Than me falling in fire. Listen to me very well. I don't want an experience of fire. I want to hear those that have been in fire telling me. So I will hold my righteousness earlier before I fall in the fire. Before I fall in the trouble. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Most people I say. Why did you get saved? You have not done anything. You have not sinned. You have not enjoyed life. What have you done? Hey. Amen. I would rather get saved at six years, at ten years, five years, at twelve years, than first going into the world. And I think I will come and be saved. Those who got saved after going there, they have something to regret about. They say, if I knew, but for you, you had a chance to know. And you have known. So I hold my salvation, my righteousness. I will maintain the aim. 
a handicap to Jesus. Maintaining the aim is keeping the way. You have to keep the way. Maintaining the aim is avoiding confusion. Oh, you'll get confusion. Maintaining the aim is turning away from destruction. Maintaining the aim is holding your righteousness. Maintaining the aim is putting all your strength in what matters. Imagine wasting your strength and your youthful age in things which does not matter. Maintaining the aim is putting your strength in things that matter. That's what we need to do now. What are things that matter that need is my energy, my power, that need is my understanding, that need is my youthful life. It's where I will put my energy and I make sure it is there. Amen. Where do you put your energy? Ask your neighbor, where does your energy go? Where does your wisdom go? Eh? Maintaining the aim is knowing where your energy should be. Maintaining the aim is knowing how to use your body. Amen. This body can do a lot for the Lord because the temple of God. What do I have to do? Maintaining the aim is knowing priorities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maintaining the aim is knowing how to use time. Time. Knowing the seasons. The things you can't do that have their own time. Hallelujah. Yes. The things that may be enjoyable but you can't do them because you're maintaining the aim. Mm. Daniel, it was still in his capacity not to pray, but then he chose, I have to pray. How do we use our time and what do we do? There are things we are meant not to do because we are maintaining the aim. When you, maintain, when you don't maintain the aim, this is what happens. Number one, it will cause destruction. Number two, it will cause backsliding. If you don't maintain the aim. Number three, you will live in shame and pain. Number four, you will live in regret. For example, if you go to school, when others are studying for you are in a, they call it what? Uh, this Zara in English is what? Huh? Gambling. For you in gambling. I know some brothers who went to school and instead of taking school fees they took it to gambling. They were in, at the university. Yeah, too. Now they are on the streets of Kampala because they took their money into gambling. At least I know three. At least I know three. They are not far away. I know them. They did not maintain the aim. When you don't maintain the aim, you live in regret and in shame. Hallelujah. When you don't maintain the aim, there is a scar ah, that will live on your life. Even when you come to realize later and collect things. Collections. When you make a collection, 
you rub and when you rub something stays there which you call a scar so most people they say scars are good scars are good but not scars of evil amen it leaves a scar and most of the scars are still painful even when the wound is healed hallelujah maintaining when you don't maintain the aim you lose direction you don't fulfill your days Bible says tell Akpas to take heed of the calling that he may fulfill it you don't fulfill your calling as long as you don't maintain the aim you don't fulfill your calling there are reasons, hundred reasons, why God calls a man young. And this person is not meant to start on God's work when he's 50. Telling himself, I am young. No. There are many reasons you should ask yourself, God, thank you. You've made me come to know you young. But what are the reasons? Start early. If not, you lose direction and you not fulfill your call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very important for us to know. And even those who are not here, just go and tell them, maintain the aim now. Not tomorrow. You lose track if you don't maintain the aim. You lose track. If you don't maintain the aim, you don't build big. You build small. You are not called for small thing. You are called for big from the Lord. But if you don't maintain the aim, you build small. Hallelujah. If you don't maintain the aim, you die young. Praise the Lord. Most of the death that people die is not the death orchestrated by heaven or by God. It's the death because of destructions of the world. Hallelujah. Yes. So, some people will get HIV young. And they say, oh, the will of God. No. You did not maintain the aim. That's why you've got an HIV. Hallelujah. They find you stealing and they shoot you and you die. And you think, eh, no. So, when you don't maintain the aim, you die young. When you don't maintain the aim, you live unsatisfied life. Hallelujah. You have to maintain the aim because the aim will take you to satisfaction. But if you're not on the aim, you live unsatisfied life. You'll be saying, I would have done this and this and this and this. But I'm not able to do this and this and this. Because along the way, I got distracted. I went to this and this and this. Now I am living unsatisfied life. Praise the Lord. Don't wait to face it. Those who are already living unsatisfied life, let them teach you a lesson that you can live an unsatisfied life, a life of regret. But God has the best for all of us. Let him restore you and bring you back on aim. Amen. Give God a hand clap. Get a neighbor and say, Give a neighbor high 10 and say maintain the aim. Know the priorities early. Do what is right now. Tell the neighbor, do what is right now. As a child of God. Amen. A hand clap for yourself, not for anyone. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, you live an unsatisfied life. If you don't maintain the aim, you'll never get well done, faithful servant. If you don't maintain the aim, you live in betrayal. Mm. You live in what? Betrayal. I pray that you not be betrayed. Let's come to the last part of this. If you maintain the aim, the Lord will save you. 
The king said, the Lord, may your God do what? Save you. If you maintain the aim, the Lord will do what? The Lord will save you. I pray for that this happens to you. The Lord will save you. It's not man. It's not what? The Lord will do what? Save you. The Bible says, if we go to the same scripture, and we go to verse um, verse 20, verse 21, King ans- Daniel answered, King live forever. My God sent, verse 22, my God sent his angel to save me from the den of the lion. Say with me, my God will send an angel to save me. Anyone who, is, who maintains the aim, God saves him. Doesn't matter where they push you. God will save you. That's the first thing. My God sent an angel to save me. The angel closed the mouth of the lions. The lions have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, king. The Lord has saved me. Those who maintain the aim, it's not man who saves them. It is God who saves them. The Lord will save you. Give a hand clap to the Lord. The Lord will save you. Amen. He will save you. King Darius was very happy. He told his servants to lift Dan out of the lions. And when Dan was lifted out of the den, they did not find any injury on his body. The lions did not hurt Daniel because he trusted in his God. Then verse 24, Then the king gave a command to bring the man who had accused Daniel to the, to the lion's den. The men and their wives and children were all thrown in the den of the lions. The lions grabbed them before they hit the floor. The lions ate their bodies and they chewed all their bones. Yeah. Then Daniel, then King Darius wrote this letter to all the people from all other nations and languages and groups of the world. Hear that. Greetings. I'm making a new law. This law is for people in every part of my kingdom. All of you, you must fear and respect the God of Daniel. Daniel is God. is the living God. He lives forever. When you maintain the aim, all men shall come to your God. When you maintain the aim, all men shall see your victory and celebrate with you. All men will turn to you. When you maintain the aim, victory is for you and for all men. A new decree was made to all people. The God of Daniel is a living God. Let us all worship him. Praise the Lord. It may take some years, but they will turn to you, not you to them. I'm waiting for the day that the boss who wanted to sleep with you when you'll be kneeling down. I'm waiting for the day that one would not give you a job because you refuse to do what they want when they're saying, I'm sorry. It's coming soon. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for the day for that man who abused you, saying you're a Christian and you don't know what to do. They will automatically, the day will come. They will be humbled by the hand of the Lord if you maintain the aim. Job says, My righteousness I'll hold fast. He was delivered. And people came to him. This shall be your portion. Amen. Shall be a portion. When you maintain the aim, you get help from the Lord. When you maintain the aim, you live a satisfied life. When you maintain the aim, God gives you an identity. When you maintain the aim, you grow faster. When you maintain the aim, you live a happy life. 
when you maintain the aim, God comes for your help. When you maintain the aim, oh, a lot I can share. God fights your battles. When you maintain the aim, you become a head, not a tail. When you maintain the aim, those who betrayed you, they come for you. Hallelujah. When you maintain the aim, you achieve the mission. When you maintain the aim, you reach the destiny. When you maintain the aim, you go further than you think. When you maintain the aim, you live. You don't die. You live. You don't die. You escape death. You escape traps of the enemy. Because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus comes that they may have life and have it more abundantly. When you maintain the aim, you live. Amen. So put the hands up. Say, Lord, give me the grace to overcome all distractions. Stand up on your feet. Lord, I choose to maintain the aim. Not to be distracted by anything. Child of God, pray. Pray, pray for yourself. Pray. Those who have attended this service, you will be special people. Put hands up and pray. You will be special people. This word is going to enter your heart and your mind. You will be special people. You will be a special minister. You will be a special leader. You will be a man who will go further. Things will change than you ever thought. In Jesus' mighty name. You will not fail from now. You will go through your school life. You will go through the, the university. You will go through the work. You will go through all. God will be on your side. God will save you. God will save you from the hands of men and the hands of lions because you have chosen to maintain the aim. From today, choose to maintain the aim. Doesn't matter whether you're paid or not. God will pay you. God will pay you. God will fight for you. God fights for those who maintain the aim. God fights for every child, for every woman who maintains the aim. I'm telling you, you'll get a wonderful marriage, get a wonderful husband, wonderful wife. God will satisfy your heart. You'll live a satisfied life because you've maintained the aim. I pray that you'll understand this word even further in the years to come because you need a satisfied life. May God do this for every man listening to me. God will defend you. God will preserve you. God will protect you. Hey, doesn't matter the struggles. You may you have the aim of being a doctor, maintain the aim. And grow being a lawyer, maintain the aim. You have a goal of being a teacher, maintain the aim. Of being a professor, maintain the aim. You have a goal of achieving something, maintain the aim. Doesn't matter how it may be failing now, but maintain the aim. It will come to pass. The God of the beginning will be the God of the end. The God of the beginning will be the God of the end. And the end shall be great. In the name of Jesus. Give God a hand clap. I want to sing for your song. As you bring your offering. As you bring your offering to the Lord. Then we finish. It says. You are the Lord of all creation. Bring your offering, please. You are the Lord of all the things. You are the Lord from all creation. You be the Lord till the end. I'm not going to sing. Aren't you bring an offering? In your service, we give offerings. Amen. Let's bring our offerings. And I want to see uh, Jessica and some youth leaders. Now, now. Let's bring our offerings, please. Bring your offering. Bring your offering. Thank you.
times. Thank you for offerings. I've already prayed. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Tell your neighbor, maintain them. Get a neighbor and tell another neighbor, maintain them. You just give five as you go. Greet them and say, Great, 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 great.